Ah, yes. Beautiful. Ooh. Listen to that. Hell yeah. We, we, we're out here on Cuisine Royale again. <laughs> Did they have menu music last time? I, I don't even remember. They up... Oh, listen to that. Oh. Wow. Incredible. Incredible piece of... Be beautiful orchestral music for a game about people wearing pots and pans on their crotch and shit. Welcome back to Cuisine Royale. I'll have you know that I actually muted the music in the video. There was no way to turn it off in the menu. So I'm currently trying, I may be speaking louder than I should be because I can hear the music, but you guys can't. <laughs> Welcome back to Cuisine Royale. It's been a while since we played this. I felt like playing it again. And to be honest, I was working on a top secret video. It's not top secret. It's a Rainbow Six Siege Funtage. I'm currently working on it, but I realized that I probably wouldn't have enough time to finish it before I'd have to upload tomorrow. So this is a last minute video, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to, to this. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey man, it's either this or wait in a few more days because I don't know how long this thing's gonna take me. It already seemed pretty time consuming when I started, so I just figured I would half ass a video for you. But that Rainbow Six Siege Funtage is on the way. I don't know what happened there. Be patient. I know I know you guys are really enjoying the Rainbow Six recently, but a new one will be on its way very soon. So it looks like they updated this game a bit. There's now a duos and a squad option. I'm still gonna stick to solos because I have no friends. Not sure if they changed up the UI in game or anything like that I don't know if I can uh you know if everything's smoother if you know I don't know <laughs> ah yes just tossed into the fray once again oh look at this just immediately right off the bat open all that that's loud as hell holy shit there we go I need a spaghetti strainer though I'm not too satisfied with this I'm not gonna lie I need a spaghetti strainer it is this one Oh, it's the same helmet. That that won't do me any any good. Listen to the sound. I just love the sound of the pots and pans just moving around. That's incredible. <laughs> no weapons. Can I pick one of these up? One of these hacksaws? That'd be nice. Can we do that? No weapons, huh? All right. Looks like uh, we're in for a rough ride here, ladies and gentlemen. That's okay, though. You know, uh, I'm sure we'll be all right. Kind of feels like they've upped the, the optimization of the game a bit. I, I'm not sure, but it feels like I'm getting more frames than... What, what I was the first time I played it. So that's a good sign. You know, they're, they, they it looks like they actually care about their game. That's nice. <laughs> good change of pace from uh, today's gaming world. All right, wh where can I go to? I, I need another town because there's nothing else here unless there's stuff in this building here. Open that. Okay, all right. Got a magazine for weapon. Here we go. Now we're, oh, we got the big, oh, it's the vinyl player. Oh, beautiful. Look at this fucking thing. <laughs> Now we got some protection. Now no one could fuck with us. We the lean, mean machine spaghetti making. Wait, was this back armor? Did I have one? I do have one. All right, sorry. Call me Ratatouille because I got so many pots and pans. I don't know how that. It kind of relates, but I'm not a mouse or a rat rather, because he's a Ratatouille. What what am I saying anymore? All right, at least I got one weapon. Okay, that's that's the bright side of this partly. Okay, I have one weapon. That's all I can really ask for at a time like this, all right? Uh-oh. There's people afoot. I wonder if they optimize looting more. Like, because it, I remember when I was playing it before, when you kill someone, all their stuff just spills out on the ground, and it's really hard to, you know, find what you want, because it's literally all text you're seeing. Ooh, another fridge. Open this bitch up. What you got here? All right, got a bunch of sausages. Oh shit, I forget how to eat. Someone told me in the comments how to eat, but I'm- I've- I've completely forgot again. <gasps> oh, I have the slippers again! Oh my god, I love this game. <laughs> Alright, we're heading towards that. This fits my persona so well. I'm all about bee hopping. Well, I was, but I still am. You know, when I play CS, I still bee hop around and stuff. Look at this. I'm gonna get up on this roof. Best vantage point. There we go, look at that. No one's gonna fuck with me up here, I hope. They probably will, I should get off here. I need a better weapon, I need like a, a sniper or something. A scope? Damn, I just found a really nice scope too. Shit. Oh, I really want a sniper now. I wonder if other players can hear that, the sound of me jumping. I wonder if they can hear that in the game. If so, I should probably stop doing it so carelessly. Ooh, 
There's a lot of fighting going on here. This game actually looks like I said this in the last time I played this game, but it looks really nice. Like it's very satisfying to play. Like it's just very visually appealing. And I've been looking for more games like this, not necessarily Battle Royale. And I've been looking into a game called Escape from Tarkov which has been building up a lot of hype recently. I've been watching Summit play it. I know it's been out for a little while, but recently I've seen uh, a general, I guess, interest in it from a lot of people. And I'm not gonna lie, I kinda, I'm kinda interested in it myself. So I've been thinking about playing it and I feel like it'd be fun to sort of do like a mini series on it. Not necessarily like a Escape from Tarkov episode one, you know, not that, no. Like a more of these style videos, like commentaries where I'd actually play the game just casually and you know, just play it for a video. Let me know if you guys would want to see that because I'm definitely interested in checking it out. But if I know that people are actually interested in, you know, having content on it and watching me play it, then for sure. <gasps> what is this? It's just shotgun? Can I put this on this? No, I can't. I'm upset. Is this a shotgun though? I'm pretty sure this is a shotgun. We're going to say it's a shotgun. Oh no, wait, this would be a rifle, wouldn't it? It looks like a rifle. I can't tell. It's like a slug or something. I don't know. Ooh, there we go, baby. Give me that shit. Put that on there. I can't- Is it not compatible with this? I'm so upset. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't use it. Fuck it, I'm still gonna use the sniper, though. I don't care. I need to- I need a vantage point. I need to see what's going on. You bitch, get up there. Get up there! Son of a bitch. There we go. Vantage point achieved, ladies and gentlemen. Boom, now we now we got a now we got a good sight on everything here. Can I take fall damage from up here? If I do the jump? I need to move, the zone's coming. Do I take fall damage? No! Oh my god, I don't take fall damage from that? That's incredible. <laughs> Fuck, I love doing that. It's just it's just super tense and then you just hear the sound of a fucking spring going off. I wish I could put the scope on, man. I don't know why I can't. No, that, it seems like it should be. Maybe it's just not compatible compatible with this weapon because I think the Springfield is an American weapon, right? Maybe this is like a Russian scope or a German scope. I don't know. I'm not too familiar with my lingo when it comes to weaponry or anything like that, but I, I think I have a good understanding of where most weapons are made. Fun fact, the Desert Eagle is not made in America. You think it would, but it's not, <laughs> I think. All right, we're heading towards that. Fuck it. Get me across this river in style, boys. There's so much gunfire. I've heard so much gunfire this game, but I haven't seen like one person at all. Oh, here we go. There's a bunker here. Okay. Flat cannons. I think they're inside. He's got to be inside there. For how goofy this sh this fucking game is, it gets so intense. All right, you know what? We're going in. Fuck it. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, okay. There's nothing. What's this? Can I put the scope on this? Maybe I should use that. No? Okay, fuck me. I want this back then. The second I get shot at, I am immediately jumping in the air as a defense mechanism. I am the high jumping bandit, ladies and gentlemen. <gasps> oh my god, that fucking scarecrow again just scared the shit out of me. Son of a bitch. They gotta be around here. This is like a, it's a compact town. There's no way people aren't here. And I've heard a bunch of gunshots. No way. No way people aren't here. Here we go. Now we're getting into the action. Oh, he's on the roof. He looks pretty geared, too. I mean, we all kind of look geared. We just wear pots and pans. That's all we do. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh God. They have, they have the bunny shoes, too. They can't. Enemies can hear it. That just confirmed it right there. Time to get stealthy, ladies and gentlemen. I've trained many months for this moment. Not years, only months, and I can only dedicate my time to so much. The sound of him jumping around is just menacing. Like, I'm scared, like, to go up against this guy just because he, he has those things. Or, you know what? I'm gonna get a little sneaky here. Oh, God. <gasps> There's someone. Should I shoot? Oh, I got 10 seconds. I gotta move. Hold on. I can try and do this. Oh, perfect. I got... I have my own little hill here. Uh-oh. People still in town. I could come up behind your boy here. Die, bitch! <laughs> oh, I'm out of the zone, I think. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh, what the fuck is this? Die, bitch! Shh, and now we, and now we digress.
fucking scarecrow, piss off! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How do I heal? How do I heal? How do I do this again? I forget how to do this. Shit! Someone told me in the comments, thank you for doing that, but I'm an idiot. Alright, we're going without eating. We're going without eating again, alright? Someone could let me know in the comments again, okay? Why you gotta play those scary sounds? Stop! Oh, this- this is like ending where my last game did, or the one I won. It ended right over there. There's only one guy left. Two kills, I redeemed myself. It was a boring game, but I, uh, I redeemed myself. Hopefully I can get the win here. If not, I will be disappointed in myself forever. See if I can get some moral high ground here. Boom! Just like that. Can I get up on this roof too? Oh, yes I can! Oh, this is- yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, consider the win secured, boys, okay? <laughs> Where are ya? The ultimate high ground, right here. No way he predicts this. Oh, oh, he predicted it! He predicted it! But I know where he is now. There he is. You little bastard! Die! Woo! Oh, did I not kill the other guy? That was my only- okay, I only got two kills, but I thought I got three, but- Okay. <laughs> well, that was a exciting return, at least at the end there. I know that the, the start of that was a bit rough, it was a bit slow, but hopefully it was entertaining enough. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this Cuisine Royale video. I do like this game. It's, it's oddly satisfying to play. The physics are like, I don't know, it's like, it's goofy enough. It's like a cross between PUBG and Fortnite. Like it's got that goofy aspect that you can't really take seriously. And then it has like the realistic vibes to it. The recoil on the guns feels pretty interesting. It looks really aesthetically pleasing. You know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy this Cuisine Royale video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video. I'd appreciate that very much. Be on the lookout for that Rainbow Six Fantage. It's on the way, I promise. Thank you so much for watching this video again. I love you guys. Thank you for all the support. And I will see you guys later.